Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so I had a request to modify Mythic Notify to work with QB Core. So I went ahead and modified it and I'm gonna do a tutorial to show you how to install it. Most people who are doing 5M development do already know how to install resources. Some may not be comfortable modifying the QB Core framework itself. Uh, there's only one function that we're gonna be modifying or replacing rather. It's gonna be the QB Core dot functions dot not notify function in client functions inside the QB core resource. Um, there is one extra thing I added to mythic notify, which was the flashing for the emergency notifications where you can enable or disable that by going into config.js and changing that to false and that to how many flashes you would like the notification to do um so let's go ahead and get into it uh actually real quick i want to show these are the default notifications some people don't like them i think they're pretty nice that's the ambulance the police one is very similar it's just a little police thing and it's blue i believe um so we'll come back and see that when we're all done here uh so typically i would use git i'm gonna go ahead and do the download zip method make it easier for those who don't know how to use Git. If you already know how to use Git, you'll probably use that anyway. Uh, so download this somewhere where you can find it, obviously. And then once you have that downloaded, go to that location. You're gonna wanna unzip it using whatever compression uh, software you use. And then take off that slash or dash master at the end of that folder. And then we're gonna cut this take it into our server data folder. If you're using TX admin, it should be in here and then inside of your folder in here. I don't, I can't think of what it's called right now, but it should be different for everyone really. Um, so we're gonna go into our generic RP, resources, standalone, and then we're gonna paste this in here. Drop that in there, all set and done. All right. Now we're going to hop on into VS Code, drop into our resources, standalone, open up Mythic Notify, and here's those uh, configurations you can do. Very simple. Uh, we're actually going to head into the README file and grab this function out. This is going to be the function that we replace in the QB Core functions file. So let's hop over to the QB Core under QB in the resources folder. We're gonna to go to client. And then down at line 128, if you have an unedited functions file. Oh, there we go, 128. Let's highlight that, hit control forward slash to comment that out if you're in VS Code. And then let's drop that new function in there right there. Um, the only thing I really changed in here is took out the send NUI message and replaced it with the mythic notify function or export. Uh, I did add in the mythic notify function, the caption parameter there. I'll show you that real quick. So I did add the caption function here or uh, parameter there and just we're passing it through to the JavaScript application. Um, I did a little bit of converting of stuff. There's not a whole lot of modifications in here. Um, I added the caption and icon elements to be added and the the flash function really. I mean, that was pretty much all the modifications here. Um, so that's that. Let's go ahead and save this functions file and restart our server. All right, while that's restarting, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and I'll hop back on here when we get back to the game. All right, so we're back in the game. Let's go ahead and try out this new notification. All right, now I do like the other one. This one is a little cleaner, it's more simple uh, when they stack up. I just kind of like the way these look myself, honestly, so. I'll probably be using this in the future servers. Uh, let's try out the 911. Help! 
All right, so there's our flashes and our alert. Uh, so you can change those colors pretty simply, pretty easily. Um, go to the Mythic Notify, HTML folder, CSS, and style. Down here at the bottom, whichever uh, notification color you want to change, you can just change that right here. If you have VS Code, should be able to just kind of hover over the color. Maybe there we go. So hover over the color and it'll pop up. And then you can change the color like so. I think the ambulance one is a little, a little kind of ugly. Um, so let's see. Let's change that to a little lighter yellow, maybe instead of so orange. Let's do it like. Come on. There, I'll just try that. All right. And then let's go ahead and ensure hit the notify. Okay, it's restarted. And I don't. Well, that's a little ugly as well. Um, but you get the the uh, idea. You can change this however you want. Probably set it back to a little bit kind of red because it's an emergency. Or at least kind of orange. Um, so you can fiddle with that, change it how you want, and get it to your liking. I like that a little better. I'll probably leave this in the, uh, in the GitHub repository. So... I guess that's it for this one. Uh, I do plan on making more complex tutorials in the future. This was kind of just a, you know, a good place to kick it off. Um, so if you enjoy these kind of tutorials or this was helpful to you at all, go ahead, hit the like button. And if you want to see more of these in the future, uh, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you don't miss any new videos. And if you have any ideas for future videos, if you want to see any other tutorials, I also do uh, coding live streams sometimes, but I would like to do some coding tutorials as well. You if, uh, now, you're, okay, if you have any ideas for that, go ahead and drop them in the comments and I can start pushing out more content for you guys. You guys are all loud. Um, I can start getting more content out to you guys a little quicker and uh, actually be something you're interested in. So, uh, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.